You got it, fellas. Here we go with um, Trev's first hit to the supermarket in Thailand. Managed to find a couple of different beers. I haven't done tastings. The old Flensburger, Pilsener. A bit of a German beer, I'd say. This one by the name of it. I don't even read the label. Doesn't matter. Swing top though, pretty, always pretty interesting, isn't it? The old swing top, somehow it fell off. That's funny. All right. Pilsener's a light, not much flavour. Easy drinkers on a hot day, it's stinking fucking hot here, too. It's about 35 or probably 33 now. It's dropped a couple of degrees. The aroma. Mm. It's actually got quite a lot of flavour. A lot more than I thought. Pretty good Pilsener, actually. Let's have a look at this. I'd say it's, oh, it's only 4.8%, there you go. All right, and everyone's written in um, German. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, can't even read the bloody words where it's made anyway. Cheers, fellas. All the best. What's it say? Herb Wurzy and Frisch. So I guess that's fresh. Herb Wurzy. What's that mean? Not too good on the old Germanic languages. Dutch and German, they speak through the throat. Pretty hard to get your tongue around it sometimes. Mmm. Not bad. We just went and had a Japanese lunch. Spent 50 Australian dollars for two of us. That meal in Australia would have to cost you about 120. Uh, heaps of salmon, uh, this snow fish, which we, you can buy a little bit in Australia and it costs you about 20 bucks for a pissy little bit. Well, we had about 30, 40 bucks worth today in one of the dishes. And oh, what else? We have some, oh, some nice, like uh, salmon rolls, like a, what do you call it? The Hiroshima rolls salmon and some tuna and we had some of those little shishamo fish and we also had um, something else I can't remember because I just want to have a beer. Cheers fellas. Yeah this one's got a heap of flavour. I said I was going to get a bottle of rum and they didn't have any rum in the supermarket. Work that one out. They sell beer only. So I can't well, I can do a bit of a story on Belize, because I've been asked to. Now, I went there a pretty long time ago, and uh, all I can remember is we left uh, Mexico. So we spent about two weeks in Mexico, maybe a little bit longer, uh, Cancun, and we come down the coast, Tulum, and then we stayed in a little town on the border, a couple of nights, uh, and then we head into Belize, and as we got to the the border, this guy's yelling out hot pies in English. I'm going, what the fuck? Been talking and thinking in Spanish for about three weeks. So uh, I had one of the pies, and it was really good, and everyone's asking me on the bus, how good's that pie? I said, the best pie, best curry pie I've ever had. I'm going to get another one. And before I could get off the bus, everyone else had jumped off in front of me. We were right up the back. And they bought all the fucking pies. So I only got one spewing. But anyway, Belize is a pretty interesting country. We went on a bit of a tour off to Goffs Key, which was great. You're doing all this snorkeling with like two metre long barracudas out to the reef and out past the reef. That was good. We saw dugongs. Um, we stayed on um, Key Corker for a while, which was good except for the sand flies. Um, good swimming hole there with lots of fish. The, the island was one island and it got cut in half by a big storm. And you go snorkeling near there, it's quite deep with heaps of fish. That was great. Uh, the people, a lot of uh, African 
its descendants, you know, ex, uh, well, let's say slaves um, or workers, plantation workers or let's call them whatever. Um, and some of them were okay and some were pretty scary. So the least, we got chased down the road with a gun one night trying to buy some mull. Um, and then what else happened? Oh, I scored a couple of girls in Builder City. That was pretty awesome. I think I gave mine 10 bucks. That was pretty nice. And what else we do? Um, oh, KO. Uh, it's got another name as well. It's the second biggest town in Belize. And that was pretty good. Um, we're out from there, you can do these tours, and it's up in the mountains, and it's pretty spectacular stuff. Pretty lush, anything grows. Belize, yeah, I wouldn't make it my home, but uh, it's worth a visit. Don't know about retiring there. I think you'd want to have a pretty strong house and maybe a couple of decent guns, just in case, because there's a lot of fucking scungy people there. But then again, you got a lot of Westerners living there as well. Uh, you see CIA agents everywhere, Key Corker and a couple of other places, you know, they're hanging out. I remember in uh, the main town, they were there, there as well. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. If I'd want to live there, maybe, I think the ideal retirement would be to spend a bit of time there and whip off down to Honduras, uh, to the Bay Island there, Roatan. I reckon that's pretty fantastic, one of the best places on the on the Central America. And another place called Montezuma in Costa Rica, what a fucking beautiful place that is. You got the beach and you got the waterfall and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers lived there and River Phoenix was there about a week before he died and I couldn't recognise him because he was off his head. Um, but it's pretty good. Belize, you know, you can whip up to Cancun, Tulum. Uh, it's not a bad spot, Belize, but I wouldn't, I don't know, I've been trying to work it out. I reckon just, if you're going to retire overseas, you don't want to hang in one place. I reckon it's a truck's danger. You know, I had a mate living here in Thailand and he, he got robbed and, um, they took all the money out of the safe and he lost shitloads of money and, the wife recognised the shoes on one of them was police shoes. So, you know what I mean? Even the police will come and fucking rob you. So, yeah, be careful. All right, I'll leave you with that and take it easy. And that's the Flensburger. There's no fucking hamburger there. It's a Flensburger. Glad it's not a Flemburger. All right, leave you with that one. That's a long one. That's about Belize. Cheers, fellas.